Now let's take a look at the outline object effect that is particularly useful when aligning text to objects or other pieces of text. In this simple scenario, we'll try to align the text to the symbol. We want to create a perfect logo. As you can see, the text is still editable. There is a big bounding box around it, which would be the base for all the alignment operations. This means that if you now try to align the pieces of text in relation to each other, you're actually aligning their bounding boxes, regardless of the glyphs. And this can lead to inaccurate alignments. One solution to this is to convert the text into outlines. Now the bounding boxes are encompassing the text closely and aligning is more accurate. But the problem with this is that you can no longer edit the text. So if you want to accurately align the text and keep it editable, use the outline object effect. Grab the text and head over to the effect menu. and Outline Object. Now if you head over to the Appearance panel and switch the effect on and off, you can notice how the bounding box changes. And now if you align the pieces of text with the effects added, you can be sure that not only do they align perfectly, they are still editable, so you can change the text if you want. So this is how you can use the outline object effect in Illustrator. It can come in really handy in design scenarios where you need both precision and flexibility, such as logo and web design. Next, we will take a look at the outline stroke effect.